In the coldest, most remote place on Earth, scientists have detected something truly baffling. Mysterious radio signals coming from deep beneath the Antarctic ice, and they don't match anything we've seen before. Could this be evidence of new physics or even dark matter? It all started with a balloon floating 40 kilometers above the ice. What it found has left scientists questioning one of the most fundamental understandings in modern physics, the nature of neutrinos and how matter behaves at the edge of the universe. ANITA, short for the Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna, is a NASA-funded experiment that began in 2006. It's not a ground-based telescope. Instead, it's a helium balloon equipped with antennas launched high into the stratosphere above the South Pole. ANITA's mission to detect ultra-high energy neutrinos, the most elusive particles in the universe, Neutrinos are often described as ghost particles. Trillions pass through your body every second, and yet they hardly interact with anything at all. When one does interact with matter, say the ice in Antarctica, it can create a burst of radio waves. That's what Anita listens for. So, why Antarctica? It's not just because of the ice. It's because Antarctica is the most radio quiet place on the planet. There's virtually no man-made interference, making it perfect for detecting faint radio signals from space. Anita's payload floats roughly 40 kilometers above the surface, scanning the massive ice sheet below. The environment is pristine, the conditions ideal. It's the best listening post we have for rare cosmic events. In several flights since its launch, Anita picked up something deeply puzzling. Radio signals, yes, but not from the sky, from the ice, specifically from beneath the ice. And not just shallow reflections, but steep upward traveling signals coming from angles up to 30 degrees below the horizon. For such signals to be real, they'd have to originate deep within Earth, travel through thousands of kilometers of rock and ice, and emerge without being absorbed. According to physicist Stephanie Whistle of Penn State, the waves would have had to go through thousands of kilometers of rock and would have been absorbed into the rocks. In June 2025, the mystery deepened. A new set of results published in Physical Review Letters and reported by the New York Post and Fox News confirmed that Anita's strange detections are real. Stephanie Whistle explained, the radio waves that we detected were at really steep angles, like 30 degrees below the surface of the ice. And perhaps more troubling, we have no answer about how these neutrinos were detected. Naturally, the first thought was neutrinos. But when Anita's data was cross-checked with other major detectors, such as Ice Cube in Antarctica and the Pierre Auger Observatory in Argentina, they found no corroborating events. This ruled out standard neutrinos as the source. As Whistle put it, this is the double-edged sword problem. If we detect them, it means they have traveled all this way without interacting with anything else. We could be detecting a neutrino coming from the edge of the observable universe. If not neutrinos, then what? Some scientists believe Anita may have picked up the first evidence of exotic particles, perhaps related to dark matter. Others suggest sterile neutrinos, supersymmetric particles, or even tau neutrinos decaying in unexpected ways. These particles are not part of the standard model, which governs modern physics. Detecting them would rewrite textbooks. Whistle cautiously added, my guess is that some interesting radio propagation effects occur near ice and also near the horizon that I don't fully understand. 
We certainly explored several of those, and we haven't been able to find any of those yet either. To investigate further, scientists are building a new instrument, PUEO, the payload for ultra-high energy observations. It's Anita's successor. It will have a longer mission duration, more sensitive antennas, and improved signal resolution. PUU is expected to fly in the next two years. Its mission, to confirm or rule out Anita's findings and determine whether we are witnessing unknown particles or misinterpreting known physics. Meanwhile, IceCube, Augur, and other global observatories are tuning their systems to track similar anomalies. The world is watching. Mysterious signals are rising from the Antarctic ice, signals that, by our current understanding, should not exist. Whether they are signs of dark matter, the first glimpses of new physics, or unknown quirks in the behavior of ice and radio waves, we are standing at the edge of discovery. These are the moments science lives for. The unexplained, the unconfirmed, the unknown. If you enjoyed this story, give us a like, subscribe for more deep science stories, and drop a comment below. What do you think Anita found beneath the ice? It's easy to overlook mysteries buried beneath ice and time, locked away in a place so remote, so silent, that even time seems to hesitate. Antarctica, a continent of extremes, far from the noise of cities, from the rush of progress and distraction. In its stillness, something unusual has spoken. Beneath kilometers of ancient ice, a signal emerged, one that doesn't belong, not noise, not interference, but a whisper of something we don't yet understand. These aren't just random waves, they are markers, defiant signatures, from particles that should not exist, traveling paths they should not survive. They defy absorption, defy theory, defy the boundaries of what we've been taught. And that's what makes them so beautiful. Science is not just about what we know, it's about what we dare to question. It's not certainty that drives progress, but wonder, curiosity. Anita, floating 40 kilometers above the ice, is more than an antenna. It's a listener, tuned to the faintest voices in the universe. And its successor, P-U-E-O, will soon join that chorus, listening more carefully, more deeply, into a cosmic silence that may be anything but empty. What if these signals are not errors, not ghosts, but evidence of something new. A new particle, a new force, a glimpse into dark matter, or even the structure of space-time itself. Years from now, we may look back at this moment, at these strange upward-traveling waves, and realize they weren't anomalies. They were the first signal flare from a new frontier, a subtle nudge from the universe saying, you're getting close. So stay curious, stay bold, keep questioning, and never stop asking, what's out there just beneath the surface?